Hello all! Today on CoVideos, we will be making a thankful pumpkin to write down what we're thankful for. So first, we're going to need some pieces of paper. I will be using orange and green, some string, as well as a pen to make holes, some scissors, some glue, and then some markers to write on the pieces of paper with. So once we have everything assembled, we will be starting with the pieces of paper. So you start with the orange and you're going to be cutting it into strips about an inch thick. As you can tell, I am not measuring for the first one, but I am using a piece of the other piece of paper to try and make a straight line. It doesn't have to be perfect, you're just trying to make it be as straight as you possibly can. And then with this other piece, I'm going to use it to mark my piece of paper to try and make a couple more pieces that are hopefully straight-ish. Again, my line, as you can tell, isn't perfect, but I'm trying. And then you're going to make a couple more lines with this and then just start cutting away until you have are able to make a bunch more strips and so I once I started going I just I just went I was like this is close enough to the right size and so you cut up this piece of paper until you have as many pieces as you would like and once you have all of the pieces assembled for our orange pumpkin, or at least I'm doing orange, you're going to lay them out in this kind of star-shaped pattern like this, arrange your pieces, and just figuring out the basic pattern of what you want the whole thing to look like, lining it up gently, and so this is what you're going for in, in general, and then you're going to take your glue stick or bottle of glue, whatever you have, and start putting all the pieces together. And if you do not have a glue stick, you can also use a stapler and staple the pieces together. With the glue stick, it's just you put on a little piece and then you put on the next one until you're able to make this whole circular shape like that, like a star. And then once you have your star assembled, you can use either a pen or scissors to make a hole that's as close to the middle because you want it to go through all of them as possible. So I made a hole with a pen because I thought it was safer than using scissors because I can be clumsy sometimes and I would prefer if it would be a pen that would go through the paper. And once you have that, you're going to take your string and stick it through this hole that we just made through the middle of our star shape. And this is just because, well, the glue isn't going to hold super well, I don't think, so that's why I'm using the string. But if you use staples or, I don't know, super glue or whatever it is that you have, and if it's stronger, you don't have to do this. So I'm putting the string through and then just tying some knots. And I don't know much about knots, so I'm just kind of making the simple one that I know. And I'm doing it on both sides to make sure that the whole pumpkin doesn't like slide through. And luckily I had some green-ish looking thread hanging around, or yarn I guess, and that's what I'm using. And then I'm going to cut off the little piece that's going to be on the inside because, you know, you don't really need to see it. And I'll leave that part hanging out because, I don't know, maybe I'll do something with it later. Once you have that assembled, I'm going to take one of those markers that I set aside and start writing the things that I'm thankful for. So when you're doing this, I want you guys to think about what you're grateful for over this Thanksgiving break and who are the important people in your life. So once that is written down, you are then ready to fold your pumpkin. So what you do is you take it and you flip it over so the words are on the outside and then you start folding up the sides. Yeah, in order to make it into that circular shape that we want for a pumpkin. So then you put pieces of glue like we did on the bottom and you stack the pieces of paper on top of one another 
into the center so that way you're able to make this circular shape that's supposed to look close to what a pumpkin should look like yeah and then when it's done you let it dry maybe for a little bit and then you take your pen or scissors and again i'm using pens because i think it's safer and you're poking that hole through the middle in order to keep all the pieces of paper together and then with another piece of string you're gonna poke that through and reach your hand in to pull the string through as you can tell the pieces of paper are already starting to move a little bit which is why i kind of like the string because then i even though it's glued together it's not the most stable so i'm able to move it around and rearrange it with that piece of string when you have it, the knots on both ends, you're going to take that leftover piece of green paper and just cut a small strip off of it for some leaves. Well, you don't have to if you don't want to. I just decided I wanted to do it. So I cut a little piece about an inch thick and then I cut it in half again. And then I bent it over in order to make sort of a leaf-ish look. I put some glue on the inside and glue these pieces together, bend them over in order to make sort of leaf pieces. Yeah, give them a little bend so that way they can have an interesting shape. And then I just glue those guys onto the top of my pumpkin and I'm trying to be as careful as possible, but if it gets a little bent, it's like, that's okay. This is just a nice pumpkin to be to talk about what I'm grateful about right now. and. Although this year's been hard, there are still plenty of things that I'm thankful for. And once those are glued on, your pumpkin is done, and you can give it to somebody you love, such as Delilah. She looks like she likes it. I hope she likes it. And then you can also put it on a table and set it up to display it. And that is how you make a thankful pumpkin. <laughs>